Megan Mug by Helen Nickel and Jan Pienkowski. Once upon a time there was a witch called Meg. At midnight the owl hooted three times and woke her up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She got out of bed to dress for the spell party. She put on her black stockings, her big black shoes, her long black cloak and her tall black hat. She went down the stairs to cook breakfast. Clip clop. In the kitchen lay her big striped cat Mog. He was fast asleep. <coughs> she trod on Mog's tail. <coughs> she took out of her cupboard three eggs, bread, cocoa, milk, a kipper, jam. She put it all in her cauldron and stirred it up. Bubble, bubble. Mmm, yum yum. Brrr. There was plenty of breakfast for everyone. At one o'clock, she got her broomstick, her cauldron and a spider. And she flew up the chimney with Mog. Up in the sky. She met her friends going to the party. Bess, Jess, Tess and Cress. They landed on a hill in the moonlight to make the spell. Each of them had brought something to put in the cauldron. This is what they put in. A frog, a beetle, a worm, a bat, a spider. They all stirred the cauldron as they chanted their spell. Abracadabra! Frog in a bog! Bat in a hat! Snap, crackle, pop and fancy that! There was a flash and a bang. Boom! Something had gone wrong. Bess, Jess, Tess and Cress all changed into mice and Mog chased them. I'll have to change them back next Halloween. Goodbye! I Want My Potty by Tony Ross Nappy the yuck, said the little princess. There must be something better. The potty's the place, said the queen. At first the little princess thought the potty was worse. The potty's the place, said the queen. So the little princess had to learn. Sometimes the little princess was a long way from the potty when she needed it most. Sometimes the little princess played tricks on the potty. And sometimes the potty played tricks on the little princess. Soon the potty was fun. And the little princess loved it. Everybody said the little princess was clever. And would grow up to be a wonderful queen. The potty's the place, said the little princess proudly. One day the little princess was playing at the top of the castle. When? I want my potty! She cried. She wants her potty! Cried the maid. She wants her potty! Cried the king. She wants her potty! Cried the cook. She wants her potty! Cried the gardener. She wants her potty! Cried the general. I know where it is! Cried the admiral. So the potty was taken as quickly as possible to the little princess. Just a little too late. Whatever Next by Jill Murphy Can I go to the moon? asked Baby Bear. No, you can't, said Mrs Bear. It's bath time. Anyway, you'd have to find a rocket first. Baby Bear found a rocket in the cupboard under the stairs. He found a space helmet on the draining board in the kitchen and a pair of space boots on the mat by the front door. He packed his teddy and some food for the journey and took off up the chimney. Whoosh! Out into the night. An owl flew past. That's a smart rocket, he said. Where are you off to? The moon said Baby Bear. Would you like to come too? Yes, please, said Owl. An aeroplane roared out of the clouds. Baby Bear waved, and some of the passengers waved back. On and on they flew, up and up, above the clouds, past millions of stars, till at last they landed on the moon. There's nobody here, said Baby Bear. There are no trees, said the Owl. It's a bit boring, said Baby Bear. Shall we have a picnic? What a good idea, said the owl. We better go, said Baby Bear. My bath must be ready now. 
Off they went, down and down. The owl got out and flew away. Goodbye, he said. It was nice to meet you. It rained and rained, dripped through Baby Bear's helmet. Home went Baby Bear, back down the chimney and onto the living room carpet with a bump. Mrs Bear came into the room. Look at the state of you, she gasped as she led him away to the bathroom. Why, you look as if you've been up the chimney. As a matter of fact, said Baby Bear, I've been up the chimney. I found a rocket and went to visit the moon. Mrs Bear laughed. You and your stories, she said. Whatever next?